Well, hello, Libra, and welcome to your readings at the round table. I'm Jennifer, and <clears throat> this is weird. Currently, I am alone in my office. The dog is sitting at the cat door, and the cats are apparently fighting <laughs> again. <laughs> I know, I keep having to bandage them up or something like every day. They're just kind of acting crazy. And it's not... It's really cold outside, but it's not like freezing like it has been. So I think they're just excited that they can come and go as they please now. But yeah, Jasmine is sitting at the door just going, what's going on? What's going on? So it's just me today, Libra. It's just me. All right, Libra, this is a general reading, so if it resonates with you, that's great, and if it doesn't, that's okay, too. Make sure you check out your sun, moon, and rising sign, because sometimes you will resonate more with your moon or your rising sign than you do with your sun sign. Just depends on your the placements in your chart. Um, today, I am reading for the first full week of 2023. Yes, so this is a reading for the week of January 2nd, first full week. Very exciting. So I am doing a life purpose spread today just to see if there's anything that we need to tweak, if there's anything we need to do, or, you know, are you on your path? Are you, you know, where, what is your life's purpose? Is this, is there something that you should be doing? Is there a next step that you need to take? Or is what you're doing a good idea right now? I know. So um, let's see what we've got for you today, Libra, and uh, see what the cards show for you. Ah. Oh, before I get started, look at my new little Christmas present. Now, isn't she beautiful? This beautiful little dragonfly. I believe it's Black Kynite. But the lady that gave it to me, my lovely friend that gave it to me, is Libra herself. So, um, she'll have to tell me if this is Black Kind Night or not. But it's so beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love this. So, she's sitting up here in a place of honor. Eventually, she'll make her way to my altar. <laughs> okay. All right, Libra. So what we've got for you here is um, the Page of Swords in the what you've learned in the past position. The Five of Cups, what you're currently learning. The Lover's Card and what steps you need to take now. Ah, I can't pick this up. Um... The Empress in the How You Best Help Others. And uh, the King of Cups, which is your life's purpose. Oh my gosh, I love this. Okay, Libra. So what we've got here for you is um, the Page of Swords is a bit of a channeling energy. Um, it, it's messages from spirit. It's, it's messages that are coming into you through like like seeing numbers flashed up everywhere hearing music or reading something in a book or even just hearing your guides or following your intuition here this is definitely messages and inspiration coming in from spirit as it comes in see she's documenting it she's writing it down probably journaling or maybe she's just recalling, like rereading those messages from spirit to help her bridge the gap into what she needs to do. This is what you've been learning in the past. This is what you, you're probably just maybe wrapping up is like how best to move forward, how to move forward in your life. And I think that's a never ending thing. I mean, really, for most of us, we move forward and then we get stuck and then we have to find a way to move forward again. 
this this is what you've learned is how to move forward, how to propel yourself forward. And a lot of it has to do with fear is like overcoming this fear. What I said, what the reason why I say that is because what you're currently learning now is maybe how to let go of things that you don't need to carry on this journey behind her. Look behind her. There's a pretty long path. She's on her journey, but she's realizing that a lot of the stuff that she needs to carry with her, maybe this is emotional baggage. Maybe it's physical. I mean, this is an emotional card because it's the five of cups. But the thing is, is that she's getting rid of the things that she no longer needs. And she's choosing it. She's choosing it. She's letting it go. What she's keeping is, see, there's one more right here. She's keeping that and she's taking that on her journey because that's what means something to her. That's what's important to her. And I feel like you're learning that now. What is important? What do I want to take with me in this process? Um, the lover's card, what steps you need to take right now? Well, first of all, you need to find your passion. Secondly, um, uh, this is about like a union. This is about being, uh, it's about forming a union, but it's also about being in some kind of partnership. This is the steps that you need to take now is finding like solid ground, finding um, a, a really good foundation in a partnership and or in your passion. Because when we build something on our passion, we need to make sure that we build it with logic and emotion. And I think that's an important component of the lover's card is using both logic and emotion building a good foundation in a partnership or building a good foundation in a passion of yours is just, it's going to serve you well. It really is. And that's the steps that you need to take right now. Very excited about that. Hmm. Wonder what this is about Libra. Okay. So then we have the Empress and how you best help others. So how you best help others is, is really helping with growth. I, I almost feel like you help other people find their abundance. You help other people bring, um, like show how they can grow. Like what, how can you best, how can you best help someone grow? Encouragement. I mean, I, and I do feel like this is a card of, seeing that something is coming in for you. It's also a little bit about faith is that when you plant those seeds, you have faith that there's actually going to be something coming up from those, right? But you nurture them at the same time. But how you best help others is I feel like it's not just a support. It's not just a support group. It's not like the three of cups where it's just a support group. I think you do more. I think you help them plant the seeds. I think you show them how to connect to abundance, how to grow prosperity. That's an important job, Libra. It's great how you help others. The King of Cups is your life's purpose. And oh man, this is so, this is so wonderful. The King of Cups is very sensitive. Um, he's he's a, he's a good listener. He's very understanding. He wants to make sure everyone feels connected, um, because he's connected to more than one thing. He's connected to his emotions. Yes. But he's also connected to like the animals. He's connected to earth as well. So he's connected to his emotions, which is the water, but he's also connected to the earth. He's a little bit grounded. So there is some logic in with his emotions. There is some like, there is some time of study. There is some time of making the connections between emotions and logic. I kind of get the feeling like there's a lot of this going on here for you, Libra, is connecting emotions and logic. I wouldn't say that's the most easiest thing to do, Libra. 
and I'm finally starting to get warm in here so I can turn my heater down. Um, you know, after a few days of this really, really, really cold weather here in Georgia, I, and I, as I understand it, it's been cold everywhere. I can finally turn my heat down some, but the, I have to, I've had to run a humidifier because I've had the heat cranked up so much. It's like drying, drying out my throat. So my voice is starting to, and we can't have that. I mean, you know, I'm talkative, Libra. So yeah, it's finally, finally getting warm enough that I can sort of turn the heat down. Wow. Okay. So on the page of wands, we've got the elder move beyond ancestral patterns. On uh, the five of cups, we've got take time to reflect. I love that. That's so perfect. On the sage, I'm sorry, on the lovers, we have the sage be devoted and committed. This is just so awesome. And on the Empress, we have Intend and Create. Mm -hmm. And on the King of Cups, we have the Shield Maiden. Make plans and focus. Okay. So, again, with what you've learned in the past, you have learned how to overcome some of the ancestral patterns that you came in with here, Libra. And that has been through connecting with spirit. That has been through channeling that information in. You have been able to move beyond this. And that's been great because it it's really, really hard for people to break those patterns. When you're the one that has to break it for, you know, many years, many decades, maybe even centuries of ancestral patterns here, that's a big, heavy job. But you're, you've done it. It's impressive. Okay. Um, the mirror guardian. Take time to reflect. So when you're. When you are getting rid of things. That are no longer serving you Libra. Things that you don't need on your journey. Take time to reflect about them. Because you can keep your memories. But don't let them clog up the system. But you can keep your memories. You don't need to hold on to things that no longer serve you. You can be like, thank you so much for um, bringing that into me. Thank you so much for bringing that into me. Thank you so much for helping me to complete this part or whatever. And then let go of it. And then seriously, let go of it. That's going to help you to... It, it, taking time to reflect on on some of the things that you're letting go of is definitely going to serve you well and it's going to make you feel like you're not it's that you're not getting rid of things that it, you're not getting rid of things that are necessary to you um the sage on the lover's card um this is so perfect be devoted and committed absolutely be devoted and committed to your passion, to your partner, whatever kind of partnership this is. If this is, it's any kind of union, really. So if this is a partnership with family, with friends, or if this is a business partnership, Libra, be devoted and committed. This is your passion. Be devoted and committed to it. That's wonderful advice, actually. Okay, and the high priest intend and create on the empress card. The empress is about abundance. The empress is all about like things coming to fruition and growth, periods of growth. Um, it's also about, um, yeah, it's all. About, it's also about feminine power and growth. But the thing is, when you're trying to help other people in their growth, 
I almost feel like you're doing this by example. So show them, show them how to create the life that they want. Show them how to, um, how to reinvent yourself. Show them how to plant the seeds and nurture them. Show them how to do that. Intend and create is all about that. It's the show me, right? Put your intentions out there because how many times have I told you guys that magic is like 85% intention. Hmm. Okay. And on the king of cups, we've got the shield maiden, um, make plans and focus. So yes, the king of cups is, you know, uh, this is an emotional card because it's cup energy. But the thing is the king of cups has logic and emotion that he's balancing. He's a very sensitive, this is very sensitive person here. The king of cups is very sensitive. So, but he's understanding. He's an empath. He wants to be understanding. And this is where you do need to keep your focus on on your goal. I think that's a good way to put it. So we're going to have lots of things that come in on our path, Libra, that wants to distract us and say, do you really need that though? Do you really need to do that? Is that, is that going to bring you the, the success that you want? Is that going to be the fulfilling thing that you want? You make a plan and focus because there's always going to be those negative thoughts, even if they're coming from other people or ourselves. There's going to be those negative thoughts that bubble up and say, is this really what you think you can do? You know, no, make your plans, focus your energy and follow, follow your emotions. Be logical about it, but follow your emotions, Libra. I like that. Pretty awesome. I don't think I'm turning the heater down. I think I'm turning the heater up. And I can't see it. You know, it is on a remote control here. And I had to angle it. Um, and this is, again, why I know it's definitely getting warmer because I had it angled so that Jasmine could lay in her bed and the heat would hit, like, both of us at the same time. It's, like, coming right through here. And the cats have been laying, like, right. I mean, Mouse has his favorite bed over here in the chair. He's just, he's like, oh, yeah, I need that. He needs the heat. And some of the other strays were just like, I don't like this. I'm inside. I don't like this. I'm inside. But I wouldn't let them out until it got above um, above freezing. And so I'll have to corral them back in here tonight. They're not going to be happy with me. I have to bribe them to come in with food. Oh, my gosh. Oh, the big sheep. Oh, sorry. Bighorn sheep. Ram. Seeking new beginnings. Hmm. Freya, phases and cycles. All right, last advice card.
the juniper berry. Hmm. Okay. Get my glasses on. Okay, let's start with the animal card for the week. Uh, for the advice card, it is seeking new beginnings, bighorn sheep or ram. The bighorn sheep uses sensitivity and perseverance as it spirals towards great creativity. Its horns are the connections to spirit, so we so it can meld the it, the abilities of the mind with the imagination. I love that. Um, so it can meld the abilities of the mind with the imagination to seek out new heights and initiate new opportunities. Trust your ability to land on your feet. I feel like this is about um, your imagination, logic, your emotions. You know, I mean, this is really, this is fantastic. Because the mind is logic and the imagination. That can be emotional. I love this. Hmm. And perseverance. Come on. These cards down here are perseverance. Okay. Freya. Phases and cycles. There is a beginning within every ending. Illusions are revealed and released. Wow. Wow. So there could really be a beginning here for you with the five of cups energy as you're releasing it out. Maybe you are like feeding this new part of your passion or maybe it's a new passion altogether for over here. And the juniper berry is the essential oil for the week. Um, the emotional aspects of juniper berry, it releases fear, worry, panic, and nightmares it instills courage, peace, and the strength to face down our fears. I like that. It creates the ability to let go of irrational fears and feel safe and protected as we address them. It helps us to address our fears. The centering thought. Fear no longer has any power over me and my life. I move forward with courage. I am fearless. And the affirmation, why is it so easy for me to let go of fear? Huh. Um, and the chakras are the solar plexus and the third eye. And you know, the solar plexus energy is all about personal power and inner strength. Definitely overcoming fears there. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I, I do, I, I think that this is a wonderful um, life's purpose for you here, Libra. Um, man, I just had a flash about one of my Libra friends. I hope this, I hope this reading finds you well. I really do. And I hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful week, Libra, and a really, really happy new year. And until I see you again in 2023, which I look forward to doing your readings in 2023. Until I see you again, Libra, get out there and make your magic. Bye.